Travel Daily UK is proudly sponsored by Sabre Travel Network, bringing you Sabre Red, the best solution to power your business performance. Now live in over 60 countries. Hello, this is Tally Andrews and welcome to the UK edition of TDTV. Dubai Department of Tourism and Marketing has reported a rise in visitor arrivals from the UK. According to second quarter figures, the number of Brits visiting the Emirates increased by 3%. The Tourist Board's Director for UK and Ireland, Ian Scott, said the numbers had been boosted by trade support, new products and a series of promotions. A sales and marketing company that looks after three Caribbean resorts has launched an online training academy for agents. Training and rewards are now available for the Couples Resorts and Sunset Resorts in Jamaica as well as the Coconut Bay Resort in St. Lucia through group promotions. Gifts include a three-night stay at each resort, Jimmy Shoe Shoes and Ferrari Day experiences. In other news, plans to allow extra flights from Heathrow have been stopped by the government. Transport Minister Teresa Villiers has banned the airport from using both runways at the same time for takeoffs and landings. The plans would have increased Heathrow's flight schedule by 164 a day. Meanwhile, P&O Cruises docked its Pacific Sunship in Newcastle yesterday. The ship will be based in the city for a series of six cruises over the next two months and is the first to begin its voyage at the port. And Sherry, CEO of P&O's Operator Carnival Australia, said the decision reflected a growing cruise trend in the Australian market. And finally, a new piece of luggage containing a weighing mechanism has been launched in the UK. The fly light bag displays the weight of the bag on an LCD screen. The product has been launched now that several airlines charge extra baggage fees. That's it for today. Thanks for watching the UK edition of TDTV. We'll see you again tomorrow.